I don't even know what to say. Absolutely no one right now. Is pe to girl hi nahi hai. I swear agar main gym na jaat, bartan hoodie dhone padenge baad mein. So yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't even know what to say. I haven't posted on YouTube obviously for however many months it's been. Probably like seven months, which is a lot. Which is probably the longest I've gone, I think, without posting a video. I mean, I wasn't consistent on YouTube anyway, but yeah that was just like the longest pause ever but yeah life happened um i have a lot to tell you guys i also haven't been active on instagram it's probably been about like two months a little bit like a month before the whole lockdown and quarantine stuff started and uh yeah i have so much to tell you guys so clearly i have some makeup on and uh, a little bit about this video so you guys know what to expect I obviously just took a shower. I put a little bit of makeup on. No foundation because absolutely no one right now can make me put foundation on my face. My skin's just been so happy with me. I actually haven't put makeup on in over two months. Even this, I feel like I'm going to have to apologize to my skin after this video because makeup's just been so unnecessary to me right now because obviously I've been home. Like, why would I... Honestly, we'll get to that. I have a lot to talk. I have a lot to say about some of the things that I've been seeing on Instagram. In this video, I obviously my hair is wet and I would have I would normally dry my hair anyway. I mean, I haven't been doing the whole blowout routine while I've been home, but um, I actually saw a couple of videos where people tried this new technique with the Dyson. Obviously, those of us who already bought the Dyson might as well get more use out of it. So I wanted to try this new technique. That's what I'm going to do because my hair is clearly wet and I need to dry it. Okay, so I know on my Instagram stories, I always post my acai bowls. I'm obsessed with acai. If you don't know what acai is, I actually don't even know how to explain it. Just Google it. I mean, I'm going to make my bowl today and I thought I'd share that with you guys and also share, yeah, where I've been in life and why I've disappeared so many times. I'm not pregnant. Oh my God, you guys, the amount of DMs that I've gotten and it's just like people like telling me, it's not even asking. It's like, Oh, so you haven't posted in two months. I know you're pregnant because that's what bloggers do when they don't post for two months. No, there's like other reasons. Like the fact that I'm alone and I have nowhere to go, no one to talk to and I've been depressed. That's one reason. But it's crazy the amount of DMs I've gotten that people are assuming that I'm pregnant. I'm not. And chances are I'm not going to break it down in a DM to someone that I don't even know. Like... That's just not gonna happen. So yeah, those kind of DMs need to stop. I would never, even if I was pregnant, tell you over a DM. Especially if I don't know you. Do you know what I'm saying? Actually, do you guys have any idea? Like, maybe I just don't understand. What's the purpose of that challenge where they're throwing brushes at each other? I just don't get it. Like, is there a purpose? I mean, I'm clearly missing out on something. I just don't understand that challenge. Is that like boredom or is there a backstory behind it? I mean, everything was fine until yesterday I saw a video and someone threw a shoe. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't understand. Okay, I'm clearly talking too much. Let's get into my hair first. I'm just applying this Kerastase. Looks like this. It's like an elixir of some sort. Um, I'm just using this because my blowout cream. Actually, before I go any further into this video, let me like introduce myself to some of you people that probably don't even know who I am because I'm rarely ever consistent on YouTube. Hi, my name is Hadia. I make uh, 
Random videos on YouTube. I am originally from Pakistan, born and raised in New York. Moved to Dubai when I got married to obviously my husband and currently have been alone for two months. The craziest time of my life, obviously this virus. Yeah, I think that was a good enough introduction. Let's go. Okay, so those of you who want to know more about the Dyson, I recommend you check out my Dyson video. But uh, I'm going to be using obviously the air wrap extensions today. So I guess I want to start with the front piece just to see what it does. So, you know, I'll show you the technique that you're supposed to use when using the Dyson and I'll show you the technique that I want to try that I've seen other people use and apparently it's supposed to be easier. Okay, um, so yeah, this is the technique that you're supposed to use when using the Dyson. It's, it's cute. But you see how this part doesn't get smoothed out like I just don't understand how I'm supposed to smooth my roots because my roots are, you know, frizzy. Um, okay, so now I want to try the technique that I've seen other people use and uh, supposedly it's supposed to be easier where you're actually physically wrapping the hair. You're not letting the Dyson do the work. Okay, so I'm supposed to wrap my hair myself. okay then <laughs> you guys you know what my direction was wrong but that was really good it's less frizzy than this piece do you see that like shiny bouncy cute and then frizzy whoa <gasps> i think i've discovered my new favorite way to use the dyson okay that is so cute I mean, my direction is so wrong, but ooh, my hair feels so good. That This is the technique that I'm going to use, and uh, yeah, let's do it. I'll try this again. Okay, that's better. I mean, this part's a little weird, but I think that's just because when I first did it, I did the wrong um, barrel. But yeah, I'm going to continue going like this and let's see how it all turns out. I just finished doing this side and I did it the same way I showed you guys and I'm impressed listen the Dyson air wrap is not an easy device to use I know they tried to market it that way but it's not easy like I mean there's so many times where I feel like my scalp's burning you know it's getting too close or um, it's not a wrap now look at this piece it's not curly oh I mean it's there but it's not that bad not that much okay anyways um but one thing i will say when i use this i feel like i'm damaging my hair less um like it's i'm not tugging my hair uh it's just air that's wrapping my hair around and it, my hair doesn't feel like it's burning or anything so that is something i really appreciate when it comes to the dyson era but other than that it does take time and it's not an easy device to use that's where I'm at with this. Right now I'm gonna move on to the side and I'm gonna have to change the barrel. God, I'm already tired. This is the most work I've done in two months. I'm out of breath. <laughs> This is uh, a great video. <laughs> okay, I'm so done, but um, you know what? It's not that bad. Like the Dyson doesn't give you, in my opinion, like the most perfect curl, but 
I, if you guys know me, kind of like that whole messy blowout look anyway. This works out perfectly for me, but it is really time consuming and uh, hard to manage. I mean, you know what I think it is? These bloggers that have been using it to like wrap around their hair, they barely have any hair. That's why it's working for them. I feel like if you have um, a good amount of hair, it's just a lot harder. Anyways, I made it. I'm done. Um, my hair is, it's okay. And I'm not even going anywhere. So who the hell cares right now? In order to make the situation a little bit better, I'm going to add some Orbe hair oil to my end. You know what? I am feeling myself. I actually just blow dried my hair the first time in two months. <laughs> now that that's done, um, I think I'm gonna make my acai bowl, show you guys what I like to put in my acai and stuff. So I wanna, I actually wanna talk about something. I get a lot of uh, DMs, actually not even on Instagram, it's mostly on YouTube, the comment section about why I don't speak in Urdu and uh, like, do I think too highly of myself? Not First of all, my Urdu, I like to think, is 100%. I don't even have an accent or anything when I'm speaking Urdu. At least, I don't think I do. I actually absolutely hate watching people who, you know, try to fake having an accent, whether it's an English accent or their Urdu or anything like that. Like, it's just really cringy. So, I never want to come across that way. And plus, if you guys are thinking when I speak in Urdu, it's going to be all weird and stuff. That's just not the case. My Urdu is perfectly fine. The only thing is something about speaking in Urdu on camera makes me nervous. I definitely want to incorporate more Urdu in my vlogs because I normally always speak in Urdu. Hussein and I talk in Urdu. Um, my, fam my parents, I talk to them. And well, mixture of both Urdu and English. And so I decided to smooth out my hair with the... Uh, just a blow dry attachment of the Dyson Air Wrap and a brush and I obviously like it way better like this. Um, it's a lot more smoother and my roots are less frizzy but yeah I mean the curl and I guess like the wave I would say is still there in the bottom and that's usually what I like. I don't like my hair super super curly. I kind of want to change back into my PJs because I can and why not. Um, so I'm going to change back into my pajamas and I'll see you in the living room. Bye! Oh my god, you guys, look at my cat. He's so much bigger and chubbier now than what he was. All right, so back to wearing my PJs and I'm a lot more comfortable. I don't want to make this part really long, but I do want to, obviously, for everyone that follows me and has been asking questions on my DMs because I can never catch up with my DMs, I'll let you guys know what's been happening or what's been going on in my life. So, let's beginning of this year, I moved. Um, it was super quick. I had my reasons for moving, so of course that kept me busy. Let's cut to February. Hussein, my husband, had to go to Saudi for work-related reasons, and uh, he was going to be gone for a month. Now, that's a really long time, and uh, so for those of you who don't know, I live in Dubai alone. My family is back home in New York, and uh, it's pretty much just Hussein and I here so so when he had to go of course I was really scared really nervous but I was like oh it's just a, it's just a month and I already had everything figured out of, of what I was gonna do how I was gonna keep myself busy and this whole routine and also during that time I was going to ask my mom to come over so I was planning on being alone for only two weeks and then my mom was gonna come here and uh, keep me company for the remaining two weeks but unfortunately god had other plans um two weeks into hassan leaving and i was doing perfectly fine i was going to the gym oh and by the way honestly every time i started going to the gym regularly something happens i was doing so well i swear to my gym na jati you log down in auto. like that's literally what i've concluded from all of this but um yeah i was keeping myself busy for those two weeks and then two weeks into hussein leaving coronavirus thing just got a little bit crazy travel restrictions didn't start a hundred percent but i didn't want my mom traveling so i asked her not to come and I was like, oh, I'm just going to pull through these next two weeks. Don't worry about it. I don't want you traveling just because, um, yeah, I didn't feel safe uh, with her traveling at all. Then cut to March when Hussein was supposed to come. Like, I think it was like towards the end of the first week of March. 
and uh, things just got crazy. Saudia closed Hajj and Umrah and they were the first ones to kind of lock down the country um, before even Dubai did it. So automatically Hussein's flight got cancelled. But I was still like really optimistic until Dubai went into lockdown. And then New York, New York just went crazy i mean if you guys are watching the news i mean you'd have to be living under a rock not to know how insane new york is right now. and so the last month i've just been depressed honestly there's no other word i can use for how i was feeling i literally spent the last month checking coronavirus cases in new york calling my mom three times a day making sure everyone's home and of course my dad would have to step out for work as well as my brother but that stuff literally just took over my whole month calling my mom three times a day checking coronavirus cases in saudi in new york in dubai like religiously i mean just being fearful and you know scared that my family is there and hussein's not here hoping hussein's safe and just praying he can come back home but i've just decided to stop overthinking about it and just uh and pray hussein can come back soon um it's almost actually gonna be like in another two weeks it's actually gonna be three months that i've been alone here which you guys that's crazy i mean i never even had a sleepover in my life like i've always been with my family and after the wedding i've been with hussein and if i wasn't with him i was with my parents I've just never been alone, but you know what? I've learned a lot of things from this stuff. I am strong and amazing as hell. I'm so proud of myself and I've kept indoors. I've tried to eat regularly. I try to sleep on time. I mean, these are the little things that I can do for myself right now. If I don't even do these things, I think I might go crazy. That's what's basically been going on with me. I just, I'm really realistic about this whole situation now and uh, I just, try to keep sane, try to um, just talk to my friends and family more. Ever since I've posted on Instagram that I've been alone um, throughout this whole crazy situation, um, so many people have obviously DM'd me and you know have just said the sweetest things. People that I barely even talk to anymore have also reached out and uh, the amazing aunties in New York have called my mom to ask about me so I love you guys so much thank you guys so 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 much it honestly means a lot to me and I love you guys and I can't wait to see everyone back home but I do want to clarify something um, people telling me to do makeup videos or you know some sort of makeup tutorial and glam videos guys I to keep things on my YouTube super realistic if you guys haven't noticed the only times that i've posted makeup videos or glam videos if you guys have noticed it's those get ready with me's and i'm usually going somewhere i don't um like to just you know glam up and sit at home like every time every one of my videos that was filmed when i was getting ready was for a reason now throughout this time that i've you know throughout this time this whole lockdown quarantine situation I mean, I haven't been wanting to watch a makeup tutorial. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather watch someone do something at home, something productive, or I don't know, just whatever they're usually normally, like, realistically doing. Some of these girls with their full face of glams and their eyelashes and stuff, I, personally, that's not, that's right now not interesting to me because if we're gonna be honest, summer weddings are canceled. Like, there isn't going to be a big event or a big wedding happening in the summer. So, yeah, let's just be realistic about the situation. Like, I understand some people, maybe they cope with putting a full face of makeup and eyelashes and colored contacts. But it's like not a realistic situation to me. And that's not what I'm enjoying watching. So, I'm not going to put that out there. The kind of videos you can expect. From, like today, this is what I'm doing. This is this is literally what I would have done minus the makeup if I wasn't filming. Do you know what I'm saying? Honestly, you giving your skin a break, you not drying your hair, you not doing gel extensions and painting your nails yourself once in a while. This is so good. Like we 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 don't get to do that normally. So 
you're doing great if you're not putting makeup on and you're letting your skin rest and uh, doing all those things that you probably didn't have time to do when you were working or going out every day and going about your life before. So this is where I am. I don't agree with the things I'm saying. That's completely fine. This is just my opinion. So um, the next video that I want to film is uh, like a pamper at home but using things that you already have not the super crazy expensive stuff like i used to make this really good hair mask at home and then i bought all these kerastase hair masks that do practically the same thing but they're so expensive so but i would love video ideas just something a little bit more realistic and practical not a glam makeup tutorial to sit at home that's not my vibe right now and so i think it's time for me to introduce you guys to my cat and uh before I bring him on camera because uh, he's not really feeling it right now, but I'm going to tell you guys a little story. A couple of days ago, he wasn't feeling well and I took him to the vet because he was just acting all weird and stuff and I knew something was off. His eating habits weren't, you know, normal and stuff. So I took him to the vet. You guys want, you guys want to know what the vet said? He said, my cat is stressed. Like mad depressed. Mary Billy stress. I was like, are you kidding me? And I asked him, why would he be stressed? Uh, um, you know, the lockdown clearly doesn't affect him because it's not like I was letting him go outside anyway. But um, apparently, the vet thinks that he misses Hussein. And you guys, I'm melted. Like, serious? Cats are definitely better than humans. So yeah, my cat's been stressed. He misses Hussein. If that's not the cutest thing, I didn't love him already. I love him even more now that I know that he's stressed because Hussein's not around. I'm like, dude, we have so much in common. I'm going to insert some video clips of Leo here. So he's a Scottish fold. I got him in um, November. He was so tiny, but he's obviously a lot bigger now. You guys, he's getting so chubby and i love it i definitely wanted a fat cat i didn't want a skinny cat because is ghar mein patte logon ki gunjayish nahi hai like i love that he's getting more and more chubby and apparently scottish folds have a tendency to get really big and uh yeah like chubby so basically if you think you have a bad think about my cat poor boy is stressed <laughs> everything happens for a reason i'm so happy i got him when when i did because He's kind of been my support system throughout this whole thing. I know I sound like a cat lady, but if you have a cat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just such a nice company to have. They just sit there, they judge you, but they can't say anything. So it's kind of a win-win situation. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. I feel like I've talked enough and I feel like I don't have anything else to say, but please let me know what you guys want to see. Okay, so it's my favorite time of the day. It's a side bowl time. You guys... Don't understand how obsessed I am with this eye. It's been two months that I've started making it at home and I stopped buying it from outside. When it's my acai bowl time, I don't even like talking to anyone. I don't like, I don't pick up calls. I don't watch a show. It's just about the acai bowl and me. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go make some acai. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen. And uh, the first thing you're going to need for an acai bowl is obviously a bowl. I have a wooden bowl and a wooden matching spoon over here. So something to know is usually when you get acai from outside. So acai is a type of berry. It's, I believe, Brazilian. Don't quote me. I might be wrong. Um, and the pure form tends to be a little sour. So when you buy acai from outside, they usually mix a bunch of things inside. Like... Uh, banana or some of them even mix peanut butter i mean it depends they mix a couple of things to make it a bit more sweeter of course you can buy large tubs of pure acai to mix with other ingredients um, in target if you're in dubai in care for but um, also if you go to one of these cafes that sell acai they can usually sell you just the pure acai. Sometimes I'll just have it as it is, like from straight up from the tub, scoop it out. Sometimes I like to take some frozen berries and put it in my bullet, take two scoops of acai, and then blend it in together. And usually it's a really, really nice paste, just like this. 
Okay, so for toppings, I like to add chia and uh, chia seeds and granola first. How cute are my chia and granola containers? Just came all the way here to show you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to add my chia first. Yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle the chia seeds. Okay, so now I'm going to add granola. You can add any granola you like. Personally, this one's just like a Kellogg's granola. And I like it. It has some nuts inside as well. So now that I have my crunch, I'm going to add blueberries. Obviously, you can add way more things. You can add walnuts. You can add coconut flakes. You can add uh, a lot more fruit than I am. Personally, I've been obsessed with blueberries and that's the only thing I like in my acai right now. So yeah, I'm going to add in a handful of blueberries. And now lastly, I'm going to add um, peanut butter. I love peanut butter with my acai. Personal preference, you can add in Nutella and stuff, but... Obviously, I think Nutella is really heavy, personally, with a side, but my friend loves it. So, yeah, you can add in Nutella. I'm going to add peanut butter. I'm just going to scoop out some peanut butter. just going to use my finger because I'm eating it, and I've washed my hands like 17 times a day anyway. I think I should have made this look a little bit more pretty. Whatever. You guys, this is it. This is my acai bowl, my obsession. Um, I have to have this. Um, I try not to have it every day, but isn't it supposed to be healthy? I mean, that's what I keep, like, I, I Google this daily. Is acai bowl healthy just to justify me eating this? But, yeah, I mean, I get blueberries in, granolas, not so bad. I mean, it has oats, right? That's healthy. Hmm, so good. Instantly lifts my mood, makes me forget. I'm probably gonna be alone for another month. <laughs> as far as what I eat like the rest of the day for lunch and stuff, um, I chicken con masala de leve, I put that in the air fryer and uh, sometimes put some potato veggies inside too. I I'm not making any handis and biryanis just for myself. I'm so jealous. My brothers, uh, obviously my mom's cooking so much for them and cooking such amazing dishes, but for just me, myself and I, um, yeah, I don't make me mad at me good you <laughs> because birthday hoodie thone padenge baad mein. Yeah, I just look for easier things that that way like I'll guarantee I'll even eat lunch and dinner because there have been days where I've just had an acai bowl the whole day which is terrible, but yeah, everyone has bad days. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know uh what kind of video I should film next. Like I said, do you guys want me to film that at home pamper situation video? I can do that. That's something I would do anyway. I think this is the end of the video. This was fun. I'm going to try to be more myself on camera because normally if you're friends with me, you know this. I'm sarcastic. I'm funny. I'm not a serious person. So I need, I need that to come out more on camera. So I'm trying, okay? I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.